It is the 40th anniversary of the martyrdom of Polish priest Jerzy Popolusko, murdered by agents of the communist police in Poland. The journalist Władimir Redziak has just published a book recalling the courage of the simple vice parish priest of Warsaw. He has faced this regime as a Christian should face any kind of totalitarianism. First of all, maintaining the faith and dignity of the person and fighting evil with good. This is the message of Father Jerzy that is still relevant today. The clarity with which he spoke of justice and freedom in the midst of the dictatorship meant years of interrogation and persecution. He was aware, since a year, a year and a half before, that the secret services wanted to silence or eliminate him. But he often repeated that you cannot betray the truth and you cannot betray the people who trust you. He became the spiritual father of the Warsaw steel mill workers and also symbolic chaplain of the entire Solidarnosc trade union. The prestige of the simple priest irritated the communist authorities who decided to arrest him and torture him to death in October 1984. His biographer emphasizes the message of hope, which remained in the hearts of the faithful even after the crime. About a million people took part in his funeral, in absolute silence, without any provocation, as the authorities wanted. I thought that Father Jersey prepared the Polish population for his own funeral because it took place with an astonishing dignity, with great respect for the martyr and without any provocation. Redziak wants Papalusko's testimony of courage and forgiveness to serve as an example to new generations.